Right then, here we go. Time for another rant. This time it's about Black Lives Matter as well, of course. What else would it be? Although actually, given all the shit that's going on in Cumbria and the world today, it could be all sorts of things, couldn't it? But no, right now, it's about Black Lives Matter. Because it seems to have been a bit of a dog whistle for closet racists to come out into the open and let everybody know who they are. Now, I'm not talking here about people who disagree with methods. For example, I'm not saying that anybody who thinks that people should not be desecrating the cenotaphs or statues are racists. Personally, I would rather they didn't do that as well. I can understand why they are, because from that particular perspective, these things are symbolic of real abuses but very often they're symbolic of many other things too. So I'm not talking about, for example, the couple of squaddies I've been speaking to online, or former squaddies, who are very passionate in their defence of war memorials. I agree with them, actually. I just think that the idea of increasing sentencing for that and that alone is a bit of an issue. But nonetheless, this isn't about that. This is about the actual racists who are coming out of the closet and how we as a society should deal with them. And I have a very particular view on this. You see, I think that the punishment should always fit the crime. And I think that if people are behaving in antisocial ways, then they should be rejected by society. So, for example, if somebody wants to ostracise my black black or brown skinned neighbor fine that's what they want well i think we should ostracize them so it's a very simple message i have here if you see someone on social media or you hear them in real life being racist actually racist as opposed to saying well you know i think tearing down statues is a bit much ostracize them Tell them why first, though, and then break off all contact for two reasons. One is it'll make the buggers think, but two, it won't have to be difficult to recruit new racists when everybody knows that the price of racism is that you are disowned by your entire society. We want to stop racism. It's no good saying, oh dear, isn't it a shame? We have to do something about it ourselves. And the most effective way that I can think is for all of us to simply live by the mantra, I have no racist friends. If you work with them, you work with them. That's different. But we don't have to actually socialise with these people. We don't have to like them. And we don't have to pretend to like them either. Try it after me. I have no racist friends.